In this example, we're asked to find the equation for a plane. But the plane is given in a little bit of a roundabout way. It's a plane that we know goes through some specified point, this, this 3, 1, 0. But it's also the plane that, that contains some line within it. And, and from these two pieces of information, we want to extract out the equation of a plane. So let's remember that the general formula was that you wanted to find some normal vector and that you took the dot product of the normal vector with the vector x minus x naught, y minus y naught, and z minus z naught. And that dot product was going to be zero. And this was the, the formula that we wanted. So in other words, we want to find from this two different pieces of information. We want to be able to find a normal and we also want to find a point on the plane. Now, the latter of the two, finding a point on the plane, that should be relatively easy. We've been given that this is the equation of a plane through 3, 1, 0. So we can already say that the x naught, y naught, z naught, that's just going to be 3, 1, 0. So we have that part of it down. We know what the point of the plane is. But the key for us is to figure out what the normal is. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to try to figure out how do I get a normal from this, this comment about the plane that contains some line. It's a bit of a mess. So I want you to imagine just some plane. And this isn't necessarily the plane that's being drawn here. I'm not going to write it down a coordinate system. I'm just going to sketch for us some plane. And we know a couple different things about this. We know that there's a line that's inside of that plane. So I'm going to draw some line, and I'm going to imagine that this line is inside of my plane. I'm going to call that the line L. And then we're also claiming that we have some other point. That's this one over here. That's my 3, 1, 0. So I've got this point that's on the plane, and I've got this line that's in the plane. And what my goal is, is to be able to figure out a normal vector. I want to be able to figure out what this normal vector is that is orthogonal to every vector that lies in the plane. Okay, so how do I, can I put this, this information together? Now, one thing that I can do is that if I have this line, that's a whole bunch of points, but I don't need all of them. I could just choose one particular point that's on the line. So let me imagine I do that. I'm going to take a particular point that's on the line, and that's going to give me a vector here. Now, we might think that that might be enough to determine the normal, right? We, we know the property is that this dot product is supposed to be zero, but it, it still isn't enough. And the problem is that in three dimensions, if you only have one vector, then the vectors orthogonal to one vector is an entire plane. So I can't just ask what's normal to this one vector, because that would be this whole plane that would be cutting through. We don't know which one is truly the normal to this plane. But if I've got one point on here, I could also have some other point on here, and we know that the normal has to be perpendicular to both of those vectors that lie in the plane. So here's going to be my strategy for solving this problem. I'm going to try to find two points that are going to be on the line. So I'm going to find two points on the line. And maybe if I call my 3, 1, 0, if I call that to be the point P, then I'm going to call my other two points, the point Q and the point R. My next step is going to be to figure out the vector PQ, to figure out the vector PR, and then what I want is a vector orthogonal to both of them. So I'm going to take the cross product. And this vector, we know that, that the cross product spits out in a vector orthogonal what we have. And so this is a vector orthogonal to both of these in the plane. So it is going to be the normal vector. That's going to give us our normal. Okay, so I think we have a plan here. We know roughly what it is that we're doing. Let's do step number one first. I want to find two points in the plane. So using the the t equal to 0, I'm going to say that my q is the first point, which was 101 plus 0 times something else, don't care. 
and that my r is going to be the 101 plus t equal to 1 times the vector 1, 1, 1. So what do I get? 2, 1, 2. So there's my p and my, excuse me, rather my q and my r. Next up, I want to figure out what the vector p, q is. So if here is my point for my p, and I've got my q down here, it's the subtraction between the two in each coordinate. That's how I figure out the vector p, q. So I want to take um, 1 minus 3 is minus 2, and then 0 minus 1 is minus 1, and then 1 minus 0 is 1. There we go. And I also want to take out the pr. That is going to be 2 minus 3 minus 1, 1 minus 1, 0, and finally a 2. So I've got my pq and my pr. Then what I'm told is to go on to step number 2. And now I want to be taking the cross product of these two different things. So I'm going to create my normal vector I'm claiming is the cross product. So I'm claiming it is pq cross pr. And therefore I'm going to say it is this trick, this determinant trick. I'm going to put the i hat, the j hat, the k hat. I'm going to put my pq first, so that was minus 2, minus 1, 1, and then minus 1, 0, and 2. And I can compute out my cross product. So how does cross product work? I look at the top left corner, that's the i hat. I then look at down here at this sort of bottom portion, and I take the main diagonal minus the off diagonal for that. So this is going to be minus 2. And then I, it's always tricky, don't forget, it's a subtracting off the j hat. And then I'm going to look at a minus 4, minus minus 1 is going to be minus 3. And then finally, a k hat. And this is going to be 0, minus 1, so minus 1. And if I put this into a vector, this is going to be minus 2, 3, minus 1. All right, so now we have a normal. And that was going all the way back to our beginning. What we wanted to be able to do was to, to plug it into our, our generic formula. We needed to have a point. We knew that from the beginning, the 3, 1, 0. And we need to get a normal. That's what I've done. So now I can plug it back into my general formula and I can get my equation of my plane. So I'm going to say, how about green for one last one? I'm going to say my final answer is going to be the normal vector. So it is minus 2 times the first component. So x minus the first component was 3. Plus, I'm going to look at what's happening in the second coordinate. This is a 3. And then it was y minus y naught, which was y minus 1. And then finally, I have a minus, and this is z minus, what is the third component here? I'm going to scroll up to remind myself. Third component looks to be 0, and so it is just going to be minus z. And then all of this is equal to 0.